This is a series of short videos, each covering a different aspect of the Train Sim World CSX Heavy Hall public beta. In this video, I'm going to look at the ghosting that you can see on the right-hand side of the image. It's very subtle at the moment, around about here, and you can see it around the wipers. Uh, and you can also see some um, some uh, artifacting going on around here. Essentially, any of these vertical lines seem to get ghosted across. In fact, you can see it quite badly there. So, what's causing this ghosting, and why is it there? The, the ghosting is actually caused by temporal anti-aliasing and if I come across here you can see another even worse uh, image of what this temporal anti-aliasing looks like uh, or the artifact of temporal anti-aliasing. Now what, temp what is temporal anti-aliasing? Why do you need it? Well you don't need it but temporal anti-aliasing which is the default for the game uh, provides the um, highest quality image you can get with the lowest system requirement and it does that by building each new new frame on what went on previously which generally for a lot of games is fine and in first person when you're walking around you won't really notice it but for these driving experiences you can get these artifacts now this is something that we're going to be constantly evaluating however it is really just a side effect of temporal anti-aliasing or TAA as it's called fortunately you can turn it off if you don't like it. And it may be that on your system it works to a, uh, a greater or lesser extent. So how can we, uh, how can we play around with the, uh, um, with the temporal anti-aliasing uh, and try other options that are available to us? So let's just get out onto the cap where that was really bad. Uh, and let's have a look and see what we can do to improve this quality. So if I now press escape, now one of the really cool things about the uh, the way the game's set up is that you can change these settings, anything on here pretty much, without restarting the game. So you can very quickly see what the impact is. Now as you can see we're on TAA at the moment. Your options here are TAA, FXAA and OFF. So let's go back to FXAA. Now FXAA is inferior to TAA in just about every respect. The picture quality isn't as good. However, it does not have the ghosting. So if I now press apply, you can see immediately this has become a little... It looks in this shot actually to be more crisp and clear. Um, and if I press escape and escape, you'll notice that all that ghosting has gone. However, what we've gained is a load of scintillation going on here. You can see where it's all sort of flickering and um, flashing. If I press escape and uh, we go back into the settings uh, and we go into display and we switch back on the TAA. And then notice what happens to this foliage and how that's not doing anything there. It's lovely and steady, but we've got the ghosting back. So you've got a, a mixture of different um, pluses and minuses for different techniques. Now you can get, if you've got a slightly faster machine um, with better graphics, what you can do is use um, the screen percentage slider to give you a bit of best of both worlds. So if we drop this back to FXAA to eliminate the ghosting, and we can take the screen percentage slider up a bit. Now, I'm going to put it to 150%. This is really going to eat your frame rate. Um, but what it does is it actually tells it to rent, tells the game to render a scene, in this case, 50% bigger, and then shrink it down to fit onto the screen that you've got. And it uses all the extra information that it created on the bigger image to create a cleaner version of the smaller image that fits on your screen. The result is the anti-aliasing is far superior. So if I now press the A key, you can see we've gone back to FXAA, everything's a bit crisper and cleaner. But now if I come back out to here, that scintillation is still there, but it's nowhere near as bad as it was. But again, everything's lovely and crisp. We've got no, no ghosting going on. So what you need to do is find out what works best for you. If you've got an NVIDIA card, you can also make use of um, DSR, Dynamic Scale Resolution, I think it is, um, which is a hardware feature on the card and is in the drivers. You can activate it through the NVIDIA settings, um, and then that does something similar to screen percentage, but it does it in the driver and on the hardware. Um, so you can use a combination. I have trialed um, using DSR two times with SS, uh, the screen percentage set to 150%, and the FXAA, and the result is really quite nice um, uh, with a a frame rate drop, but not an, an insurmountable one on a high-end machine. Uh, in that particular instance, that was a Core i7 4790 with a uh, GeForce 970 graphics card. Which this this is a much faster machine than that was, but um, that was um, what I was playing with, and that worked fine. 
AMD have their own version, I can't remember what it's called, similar to DSR, and um, as far as I'm aware, that will work fine as well. So, if you don't like, if you, the ghosting, um, you don't like the ghosting, um, then play around with the anti-aliasing settings and find something which works better for you, uh, and which trade-off is, is really the way that you want to go. Let's just remind you, I, can, I mean, you can switch, obviously, you can have TA with the, uh, with this, but you're still going to then get the ghosting. You're going to have, it's going to render a higher definition scene. Obviously, the foliage looks beautiful with TAA, but you've still got this ghosting. So if we now come back out here one more time and we switch to uh, FXAA, and if I bump it right up to 200%, this is going to really quite hurt my frame rate. Um, but you can see almost all of that scintillation, the flickery, has now gone. Actually, everything is significantly clearer, cleaner. The whole image quality just looks vastly superior. However, the frame rate has uh, taken a nosedive because we are just shifting an awful lot of data around the system at this point, and that's what's uh, that's what's creating the challenge. So, that's my recommendation to you: have a play with those settings, find the ones that work for you on your system, and um, hopefully that will explain why that ghosting is there and what you can do about it. Okay, thanks very much for watching. If you've liked this video, don't forget to hit the like button and the uh, subscribe if you haven't already and if uh, if you have a comment to leave please do uh, all your feedback is appreciated um, and uh, leave a comment okay folks thanks a lot i'll see you again in the next video bye bye